So this weekend was pretty crazy. If you guys didn't watch my last video, I was talking about how we didn't qualify for the Call of Duty World League. That was like the most disappointing thing about the weekend in general because we obviously went out to Burbank, California to qualify for the league. I flew six hours from New York to qualify and we just did not do it. I made a video talking about it earlier today. If you want to go check it out, you can. I'm not going to try to explain it again in the second video. So just check out my earlier video if you want to see that. But I got a pretty cool story to tell you guys. Something really awesome happened over the weekend. I had the chance to hang out with John Cena for the day. Like how freaking cool is that? And if you guys live under Iraq and you don't know who that is, basically, John Cena! that is who John Cena is. He's just like known on the internet to be that guy. Like everyone just says, and his name is John Cena. And everyone just loves him because of that, I guess. He's also one of the most well-known wrestlers of all time. He doesn't need any more introduction. You guys know who John Cena is by this point. So you guys probably want to know why I could have hung out with John Cena or why I even had that opportunity. You know, obviously I'm just a gamer just like everyone else. So I'm not that cool. I actually have a really good friend who knows John Cena who's actually working with him right now. And that's why I was able to meet him. Him. The amount of jokes I had in my head about when I was gonna meet John Cena was just ridiculous. Like to start things off, just to make it funny, obviously I didn't play well this weekend, so I was gonna make a vine. Like I was gonna stand next to him and just be like, like have the camera only on me and literally just say, well, after how I played this weekend, E6 decided to drop me and replace me with. And then I'd have the camera pan over to him and just be like, and his name is John Cena! I thought it'd be pretty funny to make that into a joke. Also, I was gonna make like a video or like just Instagram. I and mean, I don't know. That would have been pretty cool. It would have been a lot of fun. But you know, I have other priorities. I have to qualify for the Call of Duty World League, so I cannot. Bitch. So as much as I really wanted to go out there and just meet the guy and hang out with him for the day, I just, I can't do it because I need to spend more time playing Call of Duty. So who knows, maybe in the future I'll be able to meet John Cena and hopefully not make that vine that I wanted to make. But for now, I gotta stick to getting better at Call of Duty and practicing with my team and qualifying for the World League. I also spent a lot of time with my uncle Greg. You guys probably don't know him. I haven't even shown him any of my videos, but he actually has a house out in Manhattan Beach, so that was pretty fun. So he just showed me around California, LA. I don't really know much about the area, and he lived there for like 20 years of his life, so. So it was a lot of fun. It was a good time. We just got collateral. Oh my. Everyone's always like, dude, LA is the place to live. LA is where you gotta be. Literally everyone who's ever lived in LA said that LA is where you gotta live. And personally, I just feel like your hometown is just always gonna be that place for you like that one special place where you'll never get bored of living at it's like the first place you've ever known to live at so for me new york is always gonna be that place for me this vesper is just literally ridiculous like i could literally just run in hills and break them single-handedly just because of this gun if you think about it a lot of guns in this game are really good like everyone loves to use the m8 because i personally even think it's the best gun in the game but even the vmp the pharaoh i feel like this game is very addicting and i know i'm not the only one when i say that because i actually want to get to prestige master whereas in the past couple of call of duties i didn't really care if i was prestiging or not i only cared about playing the other best teams in the game but before i was a pro player all i cared about was prestiging getting my best kd getting all the camos in the game and this game like makes me want to go do that again like i just opened this camo up in a supply drop i think it's called the purple or the violet camo and i just i just want to get all of them i'm trying to make all kinds of camo games oh my god if you guys don't know my teammate renato always references the hodge twins if you guys know who the hodge twins are i actually met them about a year ago i put a picture up on my instagram with them if you guys want to go see that too i want to know what you guys actually think like does it really make me look like i'm a tool if i took a picture with them shirtless i, I feel like i just answered my own question by saying taking a picture with them all right don't even answer that so i made a video with seth on my channel the other day you guys really seem to enjoy that would you rather with him i'm definitely gonna try to make more videos with him and maybe even other people on optic in the future i know rain's made videos with nayshot before but on the competitive side of call of duty phase and optic haven't really done any videos together i know i'm not on the phase pro team but i was on the phase pro team at a certain point i'm still a phase member i've known seth since he was 15 years old i know him when he had like zero followers on twitter and it's crazy to see like how far he's come he's almost at a million followers now which is insane to me and just in general to see how far all of gaming has come is just mind-blowing like when i first got into this when i was 15 years old when you guys probably a lot of you guys are like 15 right now watching youtube videos this wasn't a thing like none of this was around and it's just so crazy to me to see how far it's all come and it's all thanks to you guys supporting our content watching our videos because you guys make everything possible at the end of the day i just had this problem if you guys watch my other videos when i shoot my gun i would like shoot one burst and then i try to shoot again but it wouldn't it would like get delayed so i try to switch over to shooting with r1 and l1 when i play instead of shooting with l2 and r2 because i used to use the triggers but i just can't seem to get the hang of it i just went back to shooting with r2 because this is just what i'm comfortable doing now, i can't be the only one i know a lot of the pros like to play with r1 and l1 but i can't be the only person who shoots with r2 and l2 if i am let me know if you shoot with r2 and l2 like me then i guess that's that's pretty cool too yeah i tried to think of something funny to say but i just always draw a blank i always try so hard to make something that i'm saying sound so much better than what it actually is but it ends up going like this every time like i always try too hard to say what i want to say and i always try it's not a stutter, okay? It's just trying to get your point across in a better way. That's gonna be it for the video today, guys. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. This has been your boy, Doug Simpson Martin. And I'm out, guys. Peace.